Hello and welcome to Behind the Guernsey. We're here at Moorabbin today with Jack Sinclair, a young small forward midfielder, number one pick in last year's rookie draft. Jack, welcome. Are you aware of the significance around this place that we're here now? Yeah, thanks, Tom. Um, yeah, definitely. I think, um, obviously, yeah, so many years of history with the club. Um, I know mum used to come down here as a young girl and um, watch my grandpa play a fair bit. And um, so, yeah, certainly a lot of history um, after our first training session, or before, rather. Uh, a few of the leaders sort of sat us down and spoke to us about you know, how significant it is for them, how much they love coming back here. Um, yeah, because there's just so much history and you know that in the Saints Prime a few years ago, 2009 and 10, that they were still training here. Yeah. So you mentioned your granddad. Uh, tell us yep. about Bill Gleeson, 14 games for St Kilda in the 1950s. Yeah, played in uh, 55 and 56. So a few games there as a, um, a bit of a half forward and a midfielder. So yeah, certainly a bit of family history. Um, the Saints, so I guess you could say it's in my blood a bit, yeah. Okay, so tell us about Jack Sinclair away from the game of football. What do you like doing? Oh, I'm just a big sports fan in general, so anything with the ball involved, I guess. Um, so, I'm just a big fan of soccer, so I watch that on TV. Um, Who do you support? A uh, big supporter of Liverpool in the Premier League, so going okay at the moment. Um, but just, yeah, any sport really, basketball. I'm um, a big fan of cricket, used to play a fair bit, um, golf as well, sort of anything really, yeah. Tell us yeah. about the balance, the life balance between university and mates and football. Yeah, well, I guess it sort of took a bit of getting used to. Um, so I've had to cut it back a bit this year uh, with uni, so just doing one subject a semester, whereas I did eight subjects for the year last year, so it's a bit different, but um, I guess it's a business. So swing that at Monash Caulfield, so... It was, it was actually quite good to balance with footy last year because um, Oakley was really close to the campus, so just five minutes down the road. So I was able to go there almost every day to the club. Tell us about yeah. your journey to, to an AFL list. It's been a little bit different, hasn't it? Yeah, well, I guess when I was a bit younger, um, you know, as bottom age, as an under-18 player, it sort of didn't look like it was going to happen, so I got cut from Oakley's pre-season squad. Um, and then the following year, I decided not to do the pre-season as a... Um, 18 year old, so a top ager, and then um, just focused on uh, school footy and cricket. And then uh, a few weeks into the season, they asked me back. So halfway through the year, went back there, played a few games, and just played well enough that they asked me back as a 19 year old. And then um, yeah, the following year, so I came back and sort of put all my focus into footy. Um, lucky enough to play the first few games there, and then yeah, went on to Port Melbourne, had a few games of AFL, and then. Back to Oak Oakley, and I think yeah, it probably really helped me for the rest of the year. Do you think the fact that you elected not to do the pre-season with Oakley Chargers and just relax and play footy and cricket actually helped your sport in the end? Yeah, I guess it probably did. Um, it was hard because yeah, at the time I probably thought cricket was more the go for me. I thought I could probably take that further, but just sort of chilling out a bit and just focusing on enjoying my footy, um, I think that probably that's probably why I played, played so well that year. Now you've got one very special schoolmate from Scotch College that's now with you at St Kilda. Can you tell us about Jack Billings and your friendship with him? Yeah, I guess it all started um, in Auskick, so down at the Q Comets. Um, so when we were about four, five years old, I think. That's when we first met, and then I think we were always on the opposite team, so sort of played on each other a bit then. And then yeah, the f uh, a few years later, we were playing under nines together. Um, and then all the way through there at Q to under 15s, but we played basketball and cricket um, for Q as well, and, um, and then yeah, obviously at Scotch. So I've had a fair bit of um, sporting time with him over the years, and quite a few uh, premierships and things like that. So, so from the day you got drafted to St Kilda in December as the number one player in the rookie draft, yeah. uh, was it a little bit more comforting knowing that you got Jack Billings um, with you as you walked through the door? Yeah, definitely. It's a dream come true, really. I guess you know a couple of years ago at Oakley, I thought you know we were done playing together, and then. Only a year later, um, you know, we could be stepping out onto the field together sometime in the future. So, yeah, it's pretty special, really. So tell us about your football then. What are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? Um, well, I think I'm a good decision maker and use the footy pretty well and bring my teammates into the game. Um, and, yeah, a few things to work on, I think, is body work. Obviously, I think probably the same as any first-year player, really. Um, that's a big one. Certainly playing on blokes like Mav and Armo at training certainly teach you a bit. Um, sort of throw you out of the way a few times, but certainly plenty to learn. After the national draft, when you didn't get picked up, did you think that might be it then, or did you always know that the rookie draft was coming around and you might be a chance? Yeah, I always thought my best chance was in the rookie draft, so I wasn't too disappointed um, with the national draft. I wasn't expecting anything, so... Um, I mean, as the rookie draft got closer, I sort of became less confident and more nervous, but, oh, yeah, it all, all worked out really well. 
as a rookie, um, do you feel as if you've got a point to prove that you want to get up onto that senior list? Yeah, definitely. I think that always drives you. Um, so for me to play, that'll have to happen. But um, you know, who knows when that'll be. But you just got to, you know, act as if you are a senior player, and um, you know, you're, you're the same as anyone else, really. Yeah. Who's been your mentors around the club? You spoke of Adam Schneider. Yeah, Schneider's has been good with all the forwards, um, especially the small players. But um, yeah, certainly in the midfield, Lee Montagna has been great. Um, He's a bit of a general in there and he's always helping out and offering advice. But then guys like Mav- Mavuela as well. Um, as a young bloke, he's just been really impressive as a leader and has taught me a fair bit, like I said before, playing on him. and Yeah, yeah he's great. So what are your aims for the 2015 season? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I haven't really thought a whole lot about it. Um, so for me to play, I'll have to be upgraded. and I guess you know I'm not really sure when that'll be. So until then, just um, sort of keep putting my best, putting my best foot forward and... I guess, you know, for when when that opportunity comes that I'll be as ready as I can be. Thanks for having a chat and good luck for the year. Thanks, Tom. Cheers. Well, that's it for Behind the Guernsey. Jack Sinclair, a young forward midfielder looking to put his best foot forward in 2015. Keep clicking back to saints.com.au for all your latest footy news.